Okay, this is our premier soil mix. Underneath these burlap bags, there we go, we'll strip them back, is the finest, richest dirt that you could possibly imagine. It is loamy and full of worms. And these are two cuttings from an apricot that have sat over the winter in my little fish pond and uh, they're ac they actually budded and are leafing right here and they are buried in this soil at the back of my reservoir of soil and this is the mixing pit there's a quar block and the quar block gets mixed with our other materials here's our clover path clover coming up on the path and underneath each one of these rounds is a worm farm. You turn them over and that's where you get your fishing worms. And they also throw some fresh stuff underneath. Now we're coming to the southwest corner canopy. We're now opening it up. There's our fossil feature. Here's the flying finger of phalange. That is one Great Lakes lettuce leaf uh, molded into a fossil feature. Here's our tree. Uh, this tree is now eight years old. This one right here, going up and up and up and up and up. It makes about a 60 foot canopy on the southwest corner. There's a mulberry tree that we're coming down looking at, looking at the mulberry. It's going to be the long-term tree because it's farther in on the property. These other trees will eventually be harvested and leaving plenty of sunlight and plenty of space for the mulberry, which is here and here. A couple of possible long-term palms, but a lovely sitting area. Here's our fossil feature. It's our oyster bar, eventually, uh, made with uh, some Great Lakes lettuce leaves and Swiss chard. There's our outdoor woodworking area. This is where we work on the wood so that the chips all fall here and become part of the forest floor. This is. Uh, little cloning pot. These are cuttings of the fig and simply um, cut and put in that super good soil and they're already leafing. Now when you transplant this, this is an interesting little technique. You can't get these out of the pot without disturbing their baby 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 roots. However, if you cut the pot vertically and slice the bottom out as a ring, you can lift it whole and put it in your hole surrounded by that yummy good dirt and then just jerk on this and it slides right out. Now you've transplanted without disturbing the roots in any way. 